Only months ago, Marina and Noor landed in France for a festival. Celebrated actors in their native Afghanistan, they never imagined they'd be forced to stay and live in a shelter for asylum seekers. Their suitcases are filled with promotional photos from their films like Osama, which won a prize at the Cannes Film Festival in 2003. But when a photo of Marina with her head uncovered appeared on the Internet, everything changed. Islamist extremists made threats to both their families, who warned them not to return. It's about four months. I'm not okay. Always I'm going to doctor. Mm, I like my scarf, but uh, I should say Islam is not just for, um, for a scarf. They've bounced from Nantes to a friend's house in another town, then to a small French city where they're waiting to find out whether they'll be granted asylum. From there, it's hard to imagine building on their film careers. Sometimes I'm thinking, okay, this is, my de this is the end of my life. Before, I was always, I was always dreaming about my future. I was thinking, I have a good life. Day by day, uh, the situation is getting hot and dangerous. And uh, on that time, I think they uh, attacked many, many other famous peoples. And uh, I think um, if you heard by news, they killed some people also. Life in France is challenging. Noor and Marina haven't been able to learn French. And Marina's celebrity status has caused some tension among other Afghans living at the shelter. Yet the couple does see their future here. We would like to work uh, in French movies if it was possible. And of course we have our own movies if we are working in some story. And uh, we have our own story, uh, which is so interesting, uh, as we think. For now, career success is taking a back seat to a simpler wish. To once again see their families, and to have a stable status before too long. Is that the hospital? The big one?